in the lab, doing some science experiments. Yes, ma'am. Right. So, what happens to your pearls when they are immersed in antibacterial dish soap? Palm olive antibacterial. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Does it kill your pearl too? Does anybody want to know? Because we're going to find out. We've got these great, beautiful pearls, but ones that are not our quality standard. So we are going to sacrifice one of these sweet little pearls by placing Dunk it them in. in there. Ooh. Now, would you recommend this with water to kind of oh, to set it up? No, I want to know what happens the full concentration because y'all had me i mean i've told y'all about how i clean pearls and how i recommend using like a soft i usually say like a mild ivory soap or dove soap that i set up on my hands and i work into my pearls just to kind of give them a nice cleaning but you don't do this i don't do this i don't do this so All we'll right. see will it come out super clean or, or will it be destroyed completely <laughs> Check back with us, okay? Yep, we'll let you know what happens. See you soon. Hey, everybody! Welcome hey, y'all! Welcome. Welcome to our lab again. 72 hours later. I mean, it's maybe been like 73. Or, oh, yeah, this one. <laughs> We've been talking for a while We're here in our lab. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so. Here we have the dish soap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, remember, it's tough on grease. So we're gonna see if it's tough on some pearls. Oop. And get it out. I gotta get some uh, paper towel maybe for us. Okay. All right. What happens? I Actually, know what happened to it? Did something happen, or is it just the way it looks? I'm gonna or... show this up to the camera. So, or what? What were you gonna say? Like it looked like it was coated. Yeah, but is it just coated in soap? Is that what you're wondering or no? Right, but almost bubbly around it. So. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. No, it was tough on that pearl. Look at that. Oh, it's yeah. that's not just the soap. Mm -hmm. There's like funky pearl surface coming off. Yeah. Do you want to grab it and see? Yes, ma'am. We might even like have to go <gasps> no glove on oh, that. Oh wow. Oh yeah. No. Let's save these. So. Okay, show to, to me, us. this looks similar to, not as drastic, but um, with the vinegar and the silver cleaner, it kind of took off, and it's gooey. Yeah, we're calling them pearl and boogers. And it's, um... Pearl snot. Pearl snot, yep. Yeah, it's just kind of chunking off there. And uh, if we were to rinse off the layer, it would leave it kind of like cracked looking, I would say. Don't yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah. So interesting. Oh, wow, but one just went flying. Huh, dish soap. Okay, so. And that was no water in the dish soap. That was straight up dish straight soap. Straight dish soap. And so what it's done is just kind of. Uh, Broken down. Peeled that top peeled layer the... off, you think? Or... Mm -hmm. And it looks, does it look smaller than. Um... Actually. I wonder. Maybe it's. Yeah, this is gross. <laughs> I mean, it's like multiple layers of like, it, it almost to me looks like an acid has eaten through it, you know? Like, you know how you can drop acid in and it'll sort of like, uh, there'll be different like planes that it cuts through, right. does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, different mm -hmm. layers. Yeah, that's kind of how that looks. I think we need to, uh, I'm going to snap a little photo to put up on the video so y'all can see it up close because... This is crazy. And you know what? On that note, why don't we look at the hand soap? Okay. As a comparison. Okay. So we did both dish soap and hand soap. You know, dish soap nowadays, and this is what I said, because I say, you know, wash your pearls in a mild soap. But dish soap nowadays, you know, there's nothing it's, mild about it. It's like, put that on your pots and pans. Get your well, pans. when you wash dish, wash your pot, pots and pans, I mean, your hands just get That's so, true. so dry. So it's, whoop. Now this one doesn't look as sad to me, but let's give it a little rub down. Yeah. Oh my 
my gosh. <laughs> this is funky. Oh, wow. Oh, what happened? Okay. okay. So, okay. show us that one. This one is great. Okay. That pearl looks great in that hand soap. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Carrie and India here. We are going to see now what happens with hand soap. Um, we did Dawn dish soap before. Um, I'm yeah, thinking this is going to be do we a little... think, uh, liquid, a uh, grapefruit fig. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. They're saying it's uh, made with natural vegetable oils, glycerin, coconut oil. Um, so yeah, it'll be kind of interesting to see. If there's you know, that palm olive was like an antibacterial. This one isn't antibacterial. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens, uh, when we leave our pearl in this soap. Hmm. Got a good smell. I'll give it that. Mmm, does smell good. Grapefruit fig. Lovely. Grapefruit and fig. So here's a we... product of France. Of course it smells good. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't everything in France? Mm. Everything tastes good. I mean, it smells good in France. It tastes Probably good. Tastes too. Good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tastes good. I want like a cupcake. Um, so, little dud pearl, we're gonna stick him in here. Okay. I'm gonna swirl them around, coat them up, and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, all for the sake of science, right? That's right. Yeah. All right. It's definitely, uh, you can scratch the surface. Again, 72 hours later, mm -hmm. in hand soap. But here, you hold that one up, and then I'll hold this one up. Okay, yeah. And uh, this was definitely more corrosive on it. Definitely. Than... That palm olive did it. And that was, a gen that was a gentle one. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We could, we could be a palm olive commercial, right? <laughs> Guaranteed to really cut through those pearls. Seriously. I want to eat my pearls. Yeah, I know. Don't. I mean, that's fascinating to me. Now, again, we've immersed it, so it's not like yeah. everybody's going to be doing that, but like even cleaning, you know, I mean, I, again, if I'm wearing my pearls, well, like these, I never take off, you know? I mean, sometimes I just Or like my ring, like I, you know, I don't take my... Yes. To wash my uh, to wash my hands, but for dishes I would. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's certainly with your definitely palm olive sort of <laughs> trademark. I, mean, I don't know if we're allowed to say that, but yeah, that cut through those pearls. So, which one's hand soap? This is hand soap. Looks yeah. pretty good. This is and then that's the cruddy. Um, yeah, it's so hard on video to. Oh, but here you can kind of see it. Yeah, boogering I took it up off. Close. I took it up close. Yeah. There we go. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So, if you want to immerse your pearls in soap, moral of the story: choose hand mild so, dish soap. Well, yeah, and Water that is down. that's true. Yeah, that's a good example of. I mean, because that was pretty naturalish. Stuff. Yeah, use uh, maybe hand soap as a dish soap to wash your pearls. Well, I think as long as you're using like that ivory, like I think of liquid ivory. You know, just that white, yeah. easy, and mild. maybe like no fragrance, not as much fragrance. Like this one has a very strong right? smell. Yes, so and that I could wonder... be part of it. Those, um, yeah, could be the fragrance. It could be absolutely. Yeah, it's cutting into the rules. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Carrie and India. Thanks, y'all.